This week we've seen several space heater related fires in our area and in other parts of the country, like in New York, where more than 15 people died. NBC 26's Kelsey Dickinson has tips on how to make sure that the space heater you're using is safe. Oshkosh fire crews aren't strangers to space heater related fire calls. It's probably at least a couple a year, at least. The Consumer Product Safety Commission estimates portable and stationary heaters are involved in an average of 6,800 fires every year. So what are best practices to use one safely? What we always say is give space heaters space. Give them at least three feet um, between the space heater and anything that can burn. Another important tip to remember is to plug your space heater directly into the wall to keep the cord from overheating. You also want to make sure that the space heater is at least three feet away from the wall. You want to keep them on the floor. You don't put them up on a shelf or whatever. Um, they can obviously easily tip over. There are a variety of models too, some of which can be more dangerous. This one here is, uh, is an older one and um, the reason we can tell is it doesn't have a tip over feature. If it does tip over, like on a carpeting, it's, it's still going to keep going. Meanwhile, newer models have anti-tip features that can stop a fire from happening. The newer ones, um, it has that little switch right here. You can see it right there. And um, when it tips over, because it stands up here, so if it tips over, that pops out and turns it off. Even so, it's best to unplug the space heater when you go to bed or leave the house. In Oshkosh, Kelsey Dickinson, NBC 26. Tips definitely worth checking out, Kelsey. Thank you. According to the most recent statistics from the U.S. Fire Administration, there were an estimated 1,900 fatal fires in residential buildings back in 2019. Slightly more than half of those fires were caused by cooking. Just under 10% were caused by heating, like today's fire in Kakana. Being careless is the next most common cause, followed by electrical malfunctions.